after response of a system we have seen mean value of the response then we have seen mean squared value of the response next we are interested in the auto correlation function of the response acf of the response all these things we are carrying out in time domain only so auto correlation means r xx because input and random is x of t the response is y of t we are interested in finding out the acf of not the input of the response which is y of t so r y y y y means auto r means correlation r y y of t comma t plus tau is equal to e of y of t into y of t plus tau expected value of these two things you know y of t we have been using this in the many concepts y of t is the response which we have calculated initially the beginning of this discussion so here we have e of y of t into y of t plus tau we know the y of t which is the response of a system so e of substitute that y of t e of integral minus input to infinity h of zeta 1 x of t minus zeta 1 into d zeta 1 into you should write, you substitute for y of t plus tau take same y of t expression in place of t substitute t plus tau that is integral minus input to infinity h of zeta 2 x of t plus tau minus zeta 2 into d zeta 2 well again you take this in the first integral take this x of t minus zeta 1 in the second expression take this x of t x, x plus tau x of t plus tau minus zeta 2 and apply the expectation operation because for these two integrals as a whole you have integral so apply uh, expectation operation for that x term in the first integral and the x term in the second integral you have double integrals again the third step double integrals e of x of t minus zeta 1 into x of t plus tau minus zeta 2 into h of zeta 1 into h of zeta 2 differential zeta 1 d zeta 1 differential zeta 2 d zeta 2 well again here also the, the random process white sense stationary random process if the input random process x of t is white sense stationary you are also getting response which is also white sense stationary that is what you can see here we will be getting here so now that r by y of tau can be written as as the random process white sense stationary it's not a function of t minus zeta 1 and t plus tau minus zeta 2 it's a function of difference of these two instants which is written as r y y of tau r means correlation y y means auto but y is response so r y y means y y means auto y means response r means correlation auto correlation function of the response r y y of tau earlier we have started with r y y of t comma t plus tau based on the argument that the random process is jointly white sense stationary we don't find t comma t plus tau we find just tau so r y y of tau so how do you understand this how to read this r y y of tau y means response y y means auto r means correlation tau means there is no t comma t plus tau there is only tau means white sense stationary so r y y of tau means the response the auto correlation function of a white sense stationary response random process is equal to double integral minus infinity infinity minus infinity infinity r x x of tau plus zeta 1 minus zeta 2 that's what i told you the acf is a function of difference of this instant zeta 1 minus zeta 2 into h of zeta 1 into h of zeta 2 d zeta 1 d zeta 2 left side you have r y y of tau right side in the in integral you have r x x of of course tau plus zeta 1 minus zeta 2 left side you have r y y right side you have r x x in the integral so the acf of the response on lhs is expressed in terms of the acf of the input random process so lhs you have acf r h s also you have acf LHS it is the ACF of the response. RHS it is the ACF, auto correlation function of the input random process. This is again convolution operation, double integral, R X X of tau plus zeta one minus zeta two, h of zeta one, h of zeta two. In normal convolution operation, we have one h of tau or h of zeta, but here we have h of zeta one, h of zeta two. In normal convolution, we have single integral, but here we have double integral. 
so this is recognized as the two dimensional convolution the response the acf of the response is nothing but the two dimensional convolution of the acf of the input random process so i can say in a simpler term mathematically it has r y y of tau is equal to r x x of tau star h of minus tau star h of tau well the star indicates convolution if i have two signals x1 of t x2 of t the convolution between two signals is mathematically written as x of x1 of t star x2 of t star indicates convolution operation and you have convolution operation here inside the integrals so instead of writing all those things integrals impulse functions very elaborately we can write them simply as r y of tau the acf of the response is equal to r x x of tau star h of minus tau star h of tau we get h of tau two times one is h of minus tau other is h of tau because we have there uh, in the earlier case we have tau plus zeta 1 minus zeta 2 for one thing we have positive plus zeta for other thing we have minus zeta so here impulse response h of minus tau star h of tau so one is minus tau other is plus tau but we get h h of tau two times the means two dimensional convolution operation r y y of tau is equal to r x x of tau star h of minus tau star h of tau which is nothing but two dimensional convolution of input acf will give you the acf of the response so so far we have seen what is the response of system then we have seen mean value of the response then we have seen mean squared value of the response then we have seen acf of the response auto correlation function of response which is y of t that is r y of tau after mean value of the response we are interested in the mean square value of the system response again the input is same system response first we have calculated the response of system y of t then we have calculated mean value of the system response e of y of t mean value of that now we are interested in finding out the mean square value of that system response now we have e of y square of t e means mean y square means square of the response so e of y square of t mean square value of the response so we know y of t expression we have seen earlier now you write that y of t expression two times because it is not e of y of t it is e of y square of t so y of t into y of t so e of y square of t is equal to e of expectation of integral minus infinity infinity h of zeta 1 x of t minus zeta 1 d zeta 1 this is one y of t now we should get y square of t right one more y of t into integral minus infinity infinity h of zeta 2 into x of t minus zeta 2 into d zeta 2 well to avoid confusion we are taking different subscripts in the first integral we have h of zeta 1 x of t minus zeta 1 d zeta 1 differential zeta 1 next another y of t again integral minus infinity h of zeta 2 x of t minus zeta 2 d zeta 2 differential zeta 2 so we have two integrals two times we get y of t y of t is equal to y square of t now you take these two integrals so you get double integral this can be alternatively written as double integral minus infinity infinity minus infinity infinity e of x of t minus zeta 1 into x of t minus zeta 2 because earlier we have two integrals in one integral we have x of t minus zeta 1 second integral we have x of t minus zeta 2 take those two axes take those two random process we take here it's the same random process but with different shifts so double integral e of x of t minus zeta 1 into x of t minus zeta 2 next followed by h of zeta 1 h of zeta 2 into d zeta 1 d zeta 2 differential zeta 1 differential zeta 2 the integrals carried over differential zeta 1 another integral carried over differential zeta 2 so now if you observe here you have two integrals double integral so it's a two dimensional integral e of x of t minus zeta 1 into x of t minus zeta 2 if you observe carefully this is law of the form e of x of t1 into x of t2 e of x of t1 x of t2 of that form it is 
Actually, you have here e of x of t minus zeta 1 into x of t minus zeta 2. Let us say t minus zeta 1 is t1, t minus zeta 2 is t2. So, simply I can say x of t minus zeta 1 is x of t1, x of t minus zeta 2 is x of t2. So, it is of the form e of x of t1, x of t2. In that form, it is there. But we have an assumption that the random process is wide sense stationary, which means another condition for the wide sense stationarity is that the expected value of the random process is constant irrespective of the shift of time. That is e of x of t is same as e of x of t plus delta. Whatever expectation you get for the random process x of t, let us say t equal t1, you get the same thing at e of x of t1 plus delta with shift in time. You get the same expectation. That is one condition that we have seen earlier. Another con condition is also there for wide sense stationarity. That is the autocorrelation function speaking regarding wide sense stationary random process, not for general random process. For wide sense stationary random process, the autocorrelation function is not function of absolute time like t1 or t2. The autocorrelation function rxx is not a function of t1, t2. It is a function of difference in times. That is difference of t2 minus t1. T2 minus T1, which is let us say tau. So, if the random process is wide sense stationary, its autocorrelation function is not a function of absolute times. We can't write Rxx of T1, T2, or we can't write Rx of T, T1 plus tau. It's only function of the delay or the shift between the absolute times. The ACF autocorrelation function is function of T2 minus T1, which is tau, or again say zeta, any shift. So here what you have, e of x of t minus t minus zeta 1, x of t minus zeta 2. It's something like x of t1, x of t2. So ACF is not a function of t1 or t2. It's a function of difference of t2 and t1. It's a function of tau, which is nothing but difference of t1 and t2, or t2 minus t1. t2 minus t1 is equal to tau. So this is no doubt ACF format. e of expectation of x of t1 and x of t2, this is the form ACF. but it will not be a function of t comma t1 or t1 comma t2 it's a function of difference so this expression can be written as e of x of t minus zeta 1 into x of t minus zeta 2 is equal to rxx this expression is nothing but auto correlation rxx xx means auto r means correlation of zeta 1 minus zeta 2 because the random process is white sense stationary it's not a function of t minus zeta 1 comma t minus zeta 2 it's a function of difference of this zeta 1 minus zeta 2 so e of x of t1 t minus zeta 1 into x of t minus zeta 2 is equal to rxx of zeta 1 minus zeta 2 it's a difference of this instance well finally you can write y square bar is equal to e of y square of t e of y square of t means e means expected value of y square means square of the response square of the response y of t means response that is same as mean square value y square bar bar means mean y square mean square value is equal to double integral minus infinity infinity minus infinity rxx of zeta 1 minus zeta 2 because we have substituted for e of x of t minus zeta 1 e of x of t minus zeta 2 we have substituted here as rxx of zeta 1 minus zeta 2 into h of zeta 1 into h of zeta 2 d zeta 1, d zeta 2. So, this is the mean square value, y square bar, mean square value of the response. You can clearly observe it is a two-fold integral. It is a two-dimensional integral, two-dimensional involving correlation and impulse responses, two-dimensional impulse responses. We will get the power 